So now we are going to talk about Pearson's correlation coefficient formula. So what is it? The Pearson's R is a measure of the strength of the linear association between two variables. Now, can the Pearson's R work with more than two variables? No, it will not work simply because how its formula was constructed. The Pearson's R is also known as product moment correlation coefficient, or PMCC, or simply the correlation. Pearson's correlation coefficient for continuous data ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. Any calculated values that are greater than positive 1 and lesser than negative 1 mean that there is something wrong with the calculation. Here are the correlation values for the Pearson's R. In the preceding slides, examples of positive, null, and negative correlation in graph will be shown. This here is an example of positive correlation. When you take a look at the graph, both ordinate and optical values are increasing. It can be said that a positive correlation is a direct variation. This here is an example of negative correlation. Looking at the graph, the ordinate values are decreasing in correlation with the increasing optical values. Hence, it can be said that a negative correlation is an inverse variation. Here is an example of null correlation. It means that for every increase, there isn't a positive or negative increase. In simpler words, the two variables aren't related in any way. Now here is the formula of Pearson's R. Now let us show you how to use the Pearson's R with the example. Example number one, nine students held their breath once after breathing normally and relaxing for one minute and once after hyperventilating for one minute. Is there an association between two variables? So here's the first step. Make a chart with your data for two variables, labeling the variables x and y, and add three more columns labeled xy, x squared, and y squared. Then complete the chart using basic multiplication of the variable values. If you have multiplied all the values to complete the chart, add up all the columns from top to bottom. Using the sum of the columns, we can finally substitute the variables in the Pearson's R. Now, if you input these values immediately on your calculator, it may lead to a different answer. If this is the case, you'll have to solve for this manually. In this slide, you can notice that we highlighted some numbers with a specific color. Input them individually in your calculator and you should end up with the values on the preceding evaluation. If your calculator is a new type, then just input the third step directly on it. Otherwise, simplify the denominator first, then finish it. Finally, as our computer value says, there is a high positive correlation between the variables in the example. Now, another example. Again, the first step is to make the chart. Complete the chart using basic multiplication. Then add all the values from top to bottom in each column. After all the values are in sum, substitute the variables in the formula using the respective values, which are the sums. Again, you may do this manually if your calculator can lead to an answer that is perceived not right. The result should be 0 0.53, as our computed value says, there is moderately high positive correlation between the two variables. In the next slide, we will show you an example that shows a more, somewhat more general usage of the Pearson's R. Let's say that there is a good student named Yvonne. Sometimes she doesn't get enough sleep. She hypothesizes that when she gets more sleep, she does better on tests. Using Pearson's R, can she say that there is a correlation between her hours of sleep and test scores? As always, the first step is to make a chart. Then, complete the chart using the basic multiplication. Add all values from top to bottom in each column. And now that we have our sums, we can now substitute the variables in the Pearson's R. 
the result should be 0 0.65, and now we can make our conclusion to answer Yvonne's hypothesis. There is a moderately high positive correlation between Yvonne's hours of sleep and her test scores. Of course, it all depends on how Yvonne studies for that certain lesson, right? And that's Pearson's R right there.